Welcome to the 23rd election in American history. It was held on Tuesday, November 7th, 1876. By this time, Grant and Congress were extremely unpopular after the Credit Mobilier scandal shook the nation. Briefly, railroad company Union Pacific created a ghost company to give and get money illegally from the government. This involved many Washington politicians who were bribed. In exchange, politicians gave the company tax spare money that would mostly go straight to the pockets of those involved. This would be a huge scandal, and this would taint the Grant presidency forever. Furthermore, the Tammany Hall scandal occurred, headed by New York City Democrat William Boss Tweed. He himself controlled all power in the city, and with his friends still upwards to $200 million. They were caught and Boss Tweed would die in jail years later. And for even more corruption, the Whiskey Ring scandal occurred, in which whiskey distillers bribed government officials to increase profits and evade taxes. And another L for the government was the Salary Grab Act, in which Congress tried to secretly double their salary, but after public outrage scraped most of the act. All of this corruption and scandals would end up in the Democrats having a blue wave during midterms. To make matters somehow worse, the Panic of 1873 aka the Long Depression occurred. The market would crash like never before, and many would suffer poverty during this time. In other matters, Morrison Waite became the seventh chief justice in American history after Samuel P. Chase died from a stroke. Later on, the Reciprocity Treaty of 1875 occurred, which made Hawaii see Pearl Harbor in exchange for free trade, and Hawaii became a closer ally to the US. There was also the Civil Rights Act of 1875, which tried to outlaw segregation in public areas, but was later repealed by the Supreme Court for the election, the Republicans' nominees for president were incumbent president Ulysses Grant for an unprecedented third term. But in the end, he rejected this idea. Other nominees were Ohio governor and Civil War veteran Rutherford B. Hayes, with former speaker and senator from Maine James G. Blaine fighting for the nomination. For vice president, the nominees were New York House Representative William Wheeler and New Jersey Senator Frederick in the end, Hayes and Wheeler became the party nominees. Meanwhile, the Democrats' nominees for president were Samuel Tilden, popular New York governor, with Indiana Governor Thomas Hendricks fighting for this nomination, and Tilden chose nominee rival Thomas A. Hendricks as his running mate. There was also the Greenback Party, who appealed to farmers that were dissatisfied with a horrible economy. They nominated industrialist Peter Cooper for president, who was 85 years old in the year 1876, with Samuel Carey, a former House representative from Ohio, as his running mate. Democrats ran on a platform of anti-corruption, showing Tilden's past as a popular reformer in New York, while Republicans tried their best and connected Democrats to the Civil War. And the winner was... Rutherford B. Hayes won, becoming the 19th president in American history. Hayes barely won with 185 electoral votes, with only 47.92% of the vote. Hayes won by one electoral vote in one of the most disputed and closest elections ever in American history. And William Wheeler became the 19th vice president in American history. Samuel Tilden got 184 electoral votes, with a whopping 50.92% of the vote, and is the only only person to win the popular vote with an absolute majority but still lose, while Cooper and the Greenbacks only got 0.99% of the vote. This election was and is controversial since four key states had voting irregularities. As seen by South Carolina, somehow they reported that 101% of their eligible voters had voted. This ended with the Compromise of 1877, which gave Hayes all those states alongside the presidency in exchange for the end of Reconstruction. This would affect African Americans for generations, and many of them felt betrayed to the core after hearing the news. The Compromise was voted alongside the Electoral Commission's party lines in an 8-7 rule for Republicans. This election was one of the most crucial and controversial elections in American history, and Tilden would be the last Democrat until FDR to win the popular vote with a majority. In the Senate, the Republicans barely won with a majority, winning 39 out of the 76 seats exactly on the threshold. For the House, the Democrats actually 
actually won, winning 151 seats for Over the Threshold. Samuel J. Randall, a Northern Democrat from Pennsylvania, stayed as the 29th Speaker of the House. Hayes took his private oath of office on March 3, 1877, in the Red Room of the White House. Hayes would be known as a president that oversaw the end of Reconstruction, and Democrats would see him as illegitimate. Many African Americans in the South were now defenseless, and now had to fend off by themselves. And thus, the 23rd election in American history came to an end. Thank you so much for watching, please like, share, and subscribe, stay tuned for the next video.